what did you think of like the Hanami culture here in Japan when you first knew about it or like saw it in person? It's amazing and we also love this culture. People yeah. just sitting around, Even having though... fun. And it's so lovely. I was actually surprised. Hey, hey guys, guys, I'm Sota. And you And today we're here in Inokashira Park in Kitsujoji, Tokyo. And as you can see, the cherry blossoms have all bloomed and it's super beautiful right now. And a lot of people are here to see the cherry blossoms. And this is called Hanami in Japanese. And this custom is like really popular among both Japanese people and foreign people who come to Japan. So in this video, we're going to introduce to you the culture of Hanami and also interview some foreign people here in Japan and ask them about the culture of Hanami. Now let's do this. Let's do it. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Sota. What's your name? My name is Carla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, which country are you from? I'm actually from Germany, the land Germany. of sausages and beer. Mm. But you're still too young for that, right? Too, too young for beer. Mm. Mm. Sausages. Uh, delicious sausages, though. Nice. Um, how many times have you been to like Hanami? Well, it's my second year living in Japan, actually. Mm. But I didn't realize the joy of actual Hanami until I think last year I went for the first time, mm. a short time, but this year is the first proper time I, you know, came together with friends mm. and went and, and it's so lovely. I was actually surprised because people from back home always ask me like, what is so special about Hanami? We have oh. trees, we, we have like cherry blossom trees in Germany too, of course, but they think it's the same thing. Yeah, but like the sheer amount of trees. It's overwhelming here, right? It's like a snow, yeah, 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 yeah. snowscape, right? It just right? covers the whole area. Yeah, and it, before coming here and actually seeing it, I couldn't believe it. Mm. What's so impressive about it? But it's also like the feeling, coming together with friends, family, eating. And the sakura this year is later than usual, right? Yes, yes, very so late. When I went to a park like last week, there were actually people doing hanami without the sakura. Oh. They had like the charps and we're eating together, but no blooming. No, blo no yeah. blossom. And that's when I realized Hana Yori Dango, right? Yeah. The, <laughs> the Japanese, it's like less that the flowers are beautiful and nice, but it's more about the feeling coming yeah, yeah. together. Yeah, coming together with, there with family and friends, having a good time, right? Yeah, right. I love it. I love it. And everybody's so fun. It's so enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Hanami too, and I like to go with my family as well. Mm. It's super fun with friends and family. Yeah, and the food. Yes, food you can't is, forget the food. Yeah, Japanese food is great. The dango. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the sakura dango, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the, the tricolor one. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Ohagi? Have you eaten ohagi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love sakura ohagi. Super good. Mm. <laughs> We're only talking about food right now. <laughs> um. Well, do you have like any like recommended spots for Hanami? Mm, it's hard because. It is crowded. It's yes. really hard to find a good spot and you'll have to come like we are at Inokashira Koen, right? Yeah. You have to come so early to reserve a nice spot yes. under the trees. Yes. And I was at Ueno Koen yesterday and it's all very full there. So I don't, I don't know. Do you have a favorite spot or recommendation? My favorite spot is here actually. Oh. Yeah. I love Kichijoji in I love general. Kichijoji. It's so fancy. Fav favorite I, I city. I want to live here but the rent is too high. Oh. I think this is my favorite spot ever. Yeah, 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 you can find a lot of like good foods as well. Good yeah. foods, restaurants as well here. Yeah, so. tabioca. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's the lake is also beautiful. Yeah, so. I would love to ride a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The swan boats here yeah. in Inokashira Park with uh, uh while seeing the hanami is yeah, the, with the cherry blossoms is super good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> well, like, what did you think of like the hanami like culture when you first like knew about it or came to Japan and saw it for like the first time in person? Well, at first I really did not understand it mm. because I also thought it's only about like looking at pretty flowers and as I said, we have yeah, sakura yeah, yeah. trees. What's, what's the big deal with the one in Japan? Home, but like this is so nice and overwhelming. I love like appreciating nature and going with the flow. Like Japanese people are very conscious of like the seasons. Yeah, the yeah, change, yeah. Like they have special events and things going on yeah, every season. Yeah, special events and special foods for like yeah. every single season. You know? I love how aware Japanese people are of the changing of times and also like with fruits. Yeah. Like the again, you have the season. Now we have in in fall it's kaki, mm. right? And now we have strawberries, ichigo going mm, on. Yeah, and yeah. It's like in Germany. You have strawberries all the time, 
So you don't appreciate them anymore because mm. you can buy and eat them a anytime. Any, anytime in the but year. in Japan, it's still a special thing only in that season. Mm. Now it's Sakura season. You only got Sakura now. So that's wonderful, I think, to appreciate the change of times and to be conscious of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having something special for every season is like one of the like um, one of the main like special things about Japan, you know, like sure. that's different from other countries. Um, what did you think was like a bit weird or off or like or you unique about like the Japanese culture of Hanami? Uh, well, when I, for example, in Nakameguro, they also have a famous like light up sakura spot mm. there. You go there and you can buy food and stuff. And you, you walk around, there are little stands where you buy like finger food. Yeah. But they don't have uh, trash cans around oh. there. So they're actually like yatai and stands and food stalls. But no way to like throw away the trash. Okay. So you have to carry it around. Like for example, here in Ueno, they had yeah, special yeah. Um, gomibako trash cans mm. for the Hanami Sakura event because they knew people would come mm. and they would be trash. So they prepared it. But even in a famous place like Nakameguro, they did not have trash cans. Oh, okay. So even even the stores themselves. So that was a bit sad, I think. But other than that, weird. I guess like l last week when I saw people enjoying Hanami without the sakura, that was a bit like oh, okay, you. Okay. I mean, if you, it's hard to make plans with colleagues and friends yeah, in yeah, Japan, yeah. so if you have set the date, you have to go there. And if the sakura are late or already gone, you still have yeah, to yeah, do yeah, Hanami yeah, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, even if they're not. Everybody the like either schedule and stuff, yeah. but. The cherry blossoms were late. You know? Yeah, this year they were really late, right? So lots of people did Hanami without Hana. With that, we That's a bit sad, though. Yeah. yeah. But hey, you enjoy the people you play yeah, yeah, together. Yeah, still fun with that's friends nice. and family. Yeah. Well, that's all the questions. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank Thanks you so, so much. much. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Sota. Sota. Great to meet you. I'm Eric. Nice to meet you, Eric. All right. Hi, Sota. I'm Gretchen. Nice to meet you. First of all, like, which country are you from? Uh, we're both from America. America? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How long have you like been here in Japan? Uh, we were just talking about that. Something like uh, 35, 40 years. 35? Oh my. That's oh my. such a long oh time. Yes. 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 That's a really long time. Um, how many times have you been to like these Hanami places or like Hanami events? Probably about 35 or 40 or like every, 5 every million. Year. Every, year. every year, sure. That we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, what do you think of like the Hanami culture of Japan? We love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's fantastic. You know, every now and then it can get a little bit carried away, you yeah. know, and it gets a little stinky sometimes. Yes. And the, trash. The, we were talking about the trash yeah, yeah, earlier. Yeah, like um, this park has the nice big trash cans, but sometimes like Yoyogi Koen after Hanami time is Pretty. Yeah, yeah. We went to Yoyogi Park just like a week ago, uh -huh. and the trash was like, yeah. like yeah, all over the place. Really, really yeah. Too bad, so. yeah, yeah. But we love the cherry blossoms, and and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, what a fantastic really, day it is I today, mean, right? Yeah, it's really I mean, sunny today. How could it Beautiful be any day. better than this? Yeah. It can't be any better. It's ideal. Yeah. Well, like, um, what did you think of like the Hanami culture when you first knew about it, or like came to Japan and saw it for the first time in person? I didn't really know about Hanami. Uh, specifically, but I was an exchange student in oh, Yamanashi okay. Prefecture, and when I first went outside of my classroom, Ninen Bigumi datakana, there was a beautiful cherry tree right when I got there, and I was very lonely, and I saw the beautiful tree, and I was like, oh, it's so beautiful, but, <laughs> but I can't appreciate it because I'm so lonely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And I can tell you, I'm from Washington, D.C., mm. yeah. which has cherry blossoms like this, but nobody does hanami. Really? They, they, just, oh they just walk around and look at the trees, but nobody sits. Nobody has their beer. No, you're not allowed to drink You're not beer allowed to have probably, your obento yeah. and your beer, so they just walk around and look at them, and it's kind of sad. I mean, I, I like so, yeah, Japan's like, hanami style. Yeah, it's, it's a festival. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. It's perfect. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and so many people are here, you know? Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. There's yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, of people. Yeah. yeah. Well, so not many people, like, um, like, come out and, like, to the parks and stuff to eat food or, like, uh, like have they, drinks. They and, go like, look at the, at the blossoms, but they don't sit in. Actually have, like, huge parties no. and, yeah, no. or picnics. No, don't do that. No. Okay. No, not at all. What? Only me. 
Okay. <laughs> well, what did you think was like really unique or like strange or weird when you first like you know experienced like hanami in Japan? It's cool that Japanese people take their shoes off mm, at the mat. The tarps, yeah. Yeah, I don't think American people would take their shoes off. What do you think? <laughs> well, you know, as an American, I'm used to it now. But like Gretchen said, um, the public partying yeah. uh, was um, a surprise to me. People going out and just having a great time. So that's like not a normal thing in America. Oh, the other thing. Uh, yeah. You can go and have a great time, but not generally in public parks. Oh, like, oh okay. Yeah. And the other thing I, I thought was really interesting is how people... Somebody goes early in the morning and spreads out the blue oh, sheet right. yeah. Yeah. and maybe puts some beer yeah. and then sits there all day right. yeah, because wait waiting for yeah, yeah, yeah. people to come. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, because one it gets super yeah. crowded, so yeah. you have to like That's get really there first, you know? That's interesting and really different. Yeah. We don't do yeah. that in the U.S. at all. Okay, yeah. So, so what about you, Sota? Um, what do you think about Hanami culture? Well, I think... I really think like the hanami, like the cherry blossoms are super beautiful and especially here in Inukashu Park, you know, like there's the lake and like it would be great if like with the swamp boats, getting on the swamp boats, seeing the cherry blossoms. And it's great to see like a lot of foreign people coming here to Japan and enjoying the hanami culture here in Japan as well. So are you Japanese? I'm Japanese, yeah. Uh -huh. You speak pretty good English. Your English is pretty good. Yeah, th <laughs> thanks so much. <laughs> well, that's all the questions. Thanks so much right, for the interview. Thanks, so thanks for your time. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Sota. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Cree. Cree, nice to meet you. Um, which country are you from? I'm from America. America. Um, how long have you like lived in Japan? Almost five years now. Five years. That's quite a long time. Yeah. <laughs> well. Today, as you can see, Inokashima Park is like full of cherry blossoms. It's super beautiful right now, it's right? so beautiful. Yeah, and there are a lot of people here yeah. coming to see the it's cherry blossoms. It's crazy. Yeah, so many people. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it's so many people. It's so crowded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was hard to get a place. Mm. Well, um, how many times have you like been to Hanami? Uh, I think this is maybe my fourth year doing Hanami. Mm. So for COVID, we didn't really do like a traditional hanami, but I did go a little bit, you know, yeah. just with my close nearby neighbors and we checked out the flowers. So it was fun. Well, do you have any like recommended spots to go for hanami like in Japan? Yeah, well, I think Nakameguro is really popular and very beautiful. So that is a really good spot. But I usually recommend people go to places that aren't popular, just like mm. parks that are in neighborhoods because they're much quieter and they don't have all the people like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's crowded and super loud, it's a bit too hard, a bit hard to like, you know, concentrate on the flowers, but it's still fun. But It's very you know. fun. Like the atmosphere is yeah, very yeah. nice, but if you don't like crowds, I recommend local parks. Yeah, okay. Well... Like, what did you think of, like, the Hanami culture here in Japan when you first knew about it or, like, saw it in person? Yeah, I thought Hanami culture is really interesting because in the U.S. we don't really celebrate nature in the same way. I think that's really, like, admirable about Japanese culture is, like, the celebrating of the seasons. So I think that's really cool. Well, how did you, like, come to know about Hanami in the first place? How did I know about Hanami? That's a good question. Like, find out about Hanami. You know? Find out. I think I was invited just to a picnic with one oh, of my coworkers, okay. and I that was the first time, and yeah, it was really fun. So, well, when you first like went to like a hanami event or something, mm -hmm. what did you find was like unique or like a bit weird about like the hanami culture of Japan? I don't know. I think hanami culture is very unique because we don't have anything like it in the mm -hmm. states. Um, but I also think that I guess it's interesting that people like come out and actually celebrate nature i think that's the cool part well that's all the questions thank you so much for the interview thank it was you. great talking with you thank you so nice much to hello nice to meet you my name is sota nice to meet you bro nice to meet you guys <laughs> nice to meet you what's your name tamir tamir and adam nice to meet you guys first of all like which country are you from we're from israel israel yeah well how long have you like stayed in japan uh, for like uh, almost a month. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Traveling. This is like the last few days in Japan. Mm. Yeah. yeah. We're leaving. And three days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you like enjoyed your stay here? 
Wow, it was amazing to feel the culture, the nature, the people, so polite and so nice. Um, really new stuff to learn. It was amazing. A lot of things to see. We can't even start to comprehend what we saw. Amazing experiences like all over Japan, started from Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, the traditional parts, Look around. The, the urbanic, like the more urban areas. We love it all. We love it all. We're so glad that you enjoyed your stay here in Japan. Um, well, what do you think about like the Hanami culture here in Japan? We think that first of all, it's like um, you have a gift. You have a huge gift this time of year. Everything blooms. And it's amazing. It's amazing. And we also love this culture. People yeah. just sitting around, even having though, fun. Even though it's crowded. I mean, there's a lot of people here, but everybody in a good mood, in a good way, good behavior. Yeah, laughing, so laughing, fun, playing, just playing, yeah. Just admiring the view. And yeah. we just love. We, we're, we actually, we just want to also just lay down, look at the <laughs> oh, trees and yeah. just, yeah. you know, admire the view because it's amazing. Yeah. Well, like, what did you find was like a bit strange or like unique when you first like saw this like Hanami culture where like people are having picnics, you know, just sitting around having a good time with their family and friends, looking at the, you know, cherry blossoms and stuff. I feel like from what we saw before, it's a bit unconventional, like compared to the other Japanese cultures that we saw because I feel like now watching these people just laugh and have fun and all that we don't see we didn't see that often in other places and other cultures in Japan oh, just yesterday we were at Shimokitazawa and there also some blossom there and the, I feel like the people like around that culture are more free and outgoing compared to other stuff we saw in Japan where it's a bit like more stiff and stuff like that yeah i feel like the japanese people really admire and appreciate what's happening here um you can see they're coming on side i mean every year it's a new excitement yeah, yeah, and yeah. they don't care it's every year you know yeah, what i'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's every year it's yeah, just it's, it's not new but yeah back. every it's year so people come out and like come to enjoy like the you know seasonal flowers you know yeah you can amazing. see these views and not have a big smile on their face well, that's all the questions for the interview. Thank you so much for your time. Great talking with you. Hello, nice to meet you. What's your name? Nice to meet you. My name is Amber. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, where are you from? I'm originally from New York City, but mm -hmm. I've been living in Japan for almost four years. Oh, that's quite a long time. Yeah. Well, uh, how many times have you been to Hanami? So actually, this is my first Hanami. Ooh. Yeah, because there, there was coronavirus, so I couldn't do it for the first two years. And then last year, my cousin got married during Hanami season, so I missed Hanami. Oh. So finally, <laughs> I get to experience Hanami for the first time. Well, what do you think of the Hanami? Do you like it? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, more beautiful than I imagined. Right now we're in Inokashita Park, and so when the flowers fall, it looks like it's snowing. And yeah, it's really nice. Oh, do you want to go to any like different Hanami spots? Yeah, I want to see as many Hanami spots as I can. I heard mm -hmm. at night the Meguro, Meguro River mm -hmm. is really nice. Um, I've been to Yoyogi Park and that was really nice too. Um, I didn't do Hanami there, but I just was walking through there for work one day and it looks so nice. Yeah, what's your favorite Hanami spot? Uh, probably in Okashina Park. It's oh, really yay. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and Hanami from the swan boats is really good too. Oh, yeah. Did you go on the swan boat? Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm jealous. I want to try. Okay, well, what do you think is like strange or like unique about Hanami? Uh, I think probably the strangest part about Hanami mm -hmm. is that in Japan, people go out at 5 a.m. sometimes to reserve their Hanami spot. Oh. So people in America would never wake up that early <laughs> for a picnic. Um, so yeah, I woke up this morning at not 5, but 8 a.m. to mm -hmm. reserve the best Hanami spot. Oh. And yeah, it gets so crowded. It's, it's kind of scary <laughs> how crowded it is. So many people. Well, like, is there anything like Hanami in your country? I think in um, Washington, in mm -hmm. the USA, we have some sakura trees that oh. were gifted from Japan. Oh. So Japan in 1912 gave, maybe you know this, um, they gave the U.S. 3,000 sakura trees. Wow. And since then, the U.S. actually produced like more. They Now they have 300,000. Wow. So a lot of people do hanami there, but actually I've never seen the Washington Hanami Festival. 
Okay, thanks for your time. That's all the questions. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, thank you so much. It thanks was so fun. Much. So in this video, we interviewed foreign people here in Japan and asked them questions about the Hanami culture. And it was really cool because we were able to hear a lot of different opinions on this. And it was super cool to see a lot of foreign people here in Japan enjoying the cherry blossoms with their friends and family. And um, if you're ever thinking of like coming to Japan, this is the time of year that we recommend because it's super beautiful and you can have a great time with your family and friends. Yeah, but anyway, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe, push the like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.